Racing this time, and they're able to meet in front of final field. They're away to a good start, and Ward Allen went out well, and so did Basil Dean. And McShane has made a good beginning. Minnie's Pride and Kenwood Song, and down on the inside, Shua Court. They're followed a length and a quarter away by Skipper Don on its inside. The favourite, Scotch Notch. They're followed further back by Sir Castle and Trilody. And on the outside of those two, then to Jenna. They make the showgrounds bend for the first time and pass the 2,400. And Basil Dean going fast on the outside to get to the lead from Wartell and followed by McShane and down on the inside is Shua Court. A length and a quarter, Kenwood Song and two lengths away to about now. They're followed past the 2,200 metres mark, four lengths away. The favourite, Scotch Notch, is followed a length away by Jenna. On the inside to Sir Castle and on the outside to Trilody with Skipper Don second last. And Minnie's Pride, it brings up the rear. Down they come with 2,000 metres left to go and Basil Dean the leader. By a length and a quarter, War Talents drop in to get the perfect trail out facing the breeze on the outside, McShane. Three back on the inside is Shua Court. Nicely placed as Kenwood Song with a length and a half, then to about now and two lengths away, the red-hot favourite Scotch Notch. And they're followed through on the inside by Sir Castellan. On the outside of Sir Castle and Jenna followed a length and a quarter then by Trilody. Another two lengths away to Skipper Don and Minnie's Pride at the rear. They stream down the back straight, they're 1600 out to the Trotters Grand Final. And Basil Dean the leader. By a length and a quarter from Ward Talent McShane is still facing the breeze on the outside. Three back on the inside is Shua Court getting a nice run, Kenwood Song. A length away to about now. The favourite Scotch notches up on the outside of Sir Carson and a length away, Jenna. On the inside to Skipper Don and it's outside Trilody settle well back in the field. And they come on now past the 1400 metres mark and Basil Dean is still the pilot. By a length and a quarter, War Talent tucked down on the inside getting the trail. McShane having a hard one in the death, followed a length and a quarter away by Shua Court. Who left the rails at that juncture past the trauma and they come. They're followed by Kenwood Song on its inside is about now. And Paddy Timmons getting a nice run through on the inside with Sir Carlson. They're followed in behind them then by Scotch Notches. Followed by Jenna down on the inside is Skipper Don. A length and a quarter thriller D. And last of all is Minnie's Pride. They're a thousand metres out on the Trotters Grand Final and Basil Dean the leader. A length on McShane and down on the inside War Talent. Three deep on the inside is Sir Castle and on its outside is Shua Court. Trapped out in no man's land, Kenwood Song on its inside about now. A length and a quarter then to the favourite Scotch Knot. Down on the inside is Skipper Don. On the outside, Jenna followed then by Minnie's Pride. And Trilody's at the rear. They stream down the back straight and Basil Dean. Out by two lengths now from McShane on the inside is War Talent. There goes the Victorian representative Scotch Knot. She's made his move now. They're followed then by Shua Court. Sir Castle and getting locked up on the inside about now. And Kenwood Song getting knocked back to the rear of the field. But Basil Dean comes round the showgrounds bend. Out by a length and a half. Scotch not just starting to gobble him up quickly though. On the inside of those then we've got McShane. And the outside of McShane is Jenna. They're followed down on the inside by War Talent. And Thriller D is about six lengths up the pace with 200 to go. But Scotch Nuts, the Victorian representative, makes the lead. It's Scotch Nuts, he's gone to the lead now from Basil Dean. Battling in third place is Jenna, then Thriller D in about now. But it's all Scotch Nuts with 100 metres to go. He's drawn out by five lengths from Jenna, wider out to about now and Sir Castleton. Scotch Nuts had it one, Jenna second. A great line up on the outside, Sir Castleton about now. Then Shua caught Thriller D. They're followed further back then by Minnie's Pride. Basil Dean dropped away, followed by McShane. They're followed in by War Talent, then Kenwood Song. Further back, uh, Skipper Don, it pulled up at the rear of the field. Well noted. Well, you've just seen history made at Alexandra Park for the first time ever in the history of the Inter-Dominions. An Australian trotter has won the Trotters' grand final in New Zealand. And really, you saw literally poetry in motion. When that trotter turned for home, Graham Lang said go, and she just kept finding a bit, a bit extra and produced far too much stamina and far too much speed for the rest of the opposition. She's improved every night and obviously he had her 100% ready to run the race of her life and that's exactly what she's just done. Now let's have a look at them as they turn for home. You'll see Basil Dean on the inside. He'd led them for most of the way. And here's Scotch Notch cruising round the outside. An absolutely amazing performance. And these two have already drawn away by three or four lengths. Jenna's the only one making any sort of a fist of a chase at the present time. They've got to around about 200 metres to go, perhaps a bit more. And Scotch Notch is well in front at the stage. And Graham Lang, the driver, literally just sitting there. He knows he's got the race in the bag. 
Basildine still running on fairly well done on the inside but feeling the pinch Kerry O'Reilly asked him to go pretty early from home Jenna under a vigorous drive from Charlie Hunter now about to run into second place sure court coming home well down on the inside but the action in a moment comes from the outside of that bunch Scotch Notch home and dry at this stage and gets the lion's share of the money coming down to the winning post and wins it well the gap would be about six lengths back to second Let's have a look at them as they come across the line and Jenna would be second OK and I'm not sure whether Sir Castleton or about now would have got up for the third place with sure court perhaps the best of the others down on the inside. So we'll just have to wait until we get the official placings. It looks like 9, 12 and 10 at this stage. 9, 12, 10 is now official and the winner Scotch Notch. A marvellous trotting mare, quite the best trotter we've ever seen come out of Australia and we'll have the time in the moment and just get some idea of how she ran. Yeah, new record, John. New record as expected for this very good mare indeed. 328.7. That knocks almost a second off the record held by a very good mare in Petita Vanda. Well, a marvellous effort. What more can you ask? Wins it by about five lengths. A race and track record. And Scotch Notch, the horse of the moment as far as the trotters are concerned. And really... The uh, situation is that very few mares have won into Dominion Championship finals and that's another feather in trainer driver Graham Lang's cap to have a mare good enough to beat the Colts and Geldings and Stallions and to do it as easily as this mare has done is a remarkable training and driving feat and goodness knows what this mare might do in the trotters free-for-all uh, on the Pacers final night next Saturday. But here it is, the winner of the trotters grand final, number nine, Scotch Notch. The attendance just uh, holding her there in the winner's circle. She's decided that it's all over and she wants to get back to eat. An affectionate pat from Graham Lang just undoing the harness. And uh, very shortly, there'll be all the congratulations in the world and the presentation of the Inter-Dominion Trotters Grand Final Trophy. Well, this is the greatest stakes winning race for Trotters and you've got it, Graham Lang. How do you feel? Oh, I couldn't tell you. I'd like to be able to, but I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a highly elated man, undoubtedly. Oh, that, a, that, that, that nearly covers it. <laughs> that's just yeah. right. Well, it's what you came for, Graham. It's what yeah. you've got with Scotch Knight. In fact, the horse seemed to be improving with every race here. Yeah, it's amazing. Usually when you take these horses away from home, it's hard to keep them in order. But we sort of sat about getting her in very good order before we left because she's a very light-framed little one, you know. And I expected we'd have a bit of a problem over here with her. But she... Uh, well, we had our problems for the first week, but thank goodness they were the first week. And she has just kept on getting better. Like, it amazed me. Like, even this morning when I was working it, I thought I should have worked should have worked it more because I thought it's doing too good. <laughs> right. So you maybe we come back to New Zealand, might be the good air or something you got here. Well, I don't know. You've been uh, in, in the middle of a drought over there. You come over here and you can race uh, Scotch Notch in that wet on Wednesday night as well. Well, I didn't know whether she'd ever been in the wet before. I thought she might have got a bit frightened, you yeah. know. But anyway, she, she reckoned it was good. Perhaps she thought she, we needed it at home. Well, that's uh, one for Australia uh, for the grand final. And uh, Australia won the consolation as well. They're great horses you've got there at the moment. Oh, well, we... Uh, it's a great horse, there's no doubt. Yeah. Graham, I'll let you go and do some celebrating. Good. I'll try. Okay, you're right. So there it is, all the action in the winner's circle. And you're seeing it there with Graham Lang. What a happy man he must be after winning the... Inter Dominion Trotters Grand Final, and uh, he's won it so well. Barry Holland now has Jim Wong, owner of Scotch Notch. Thank Congratulations, you Jim Wong. Yes, well, thank you very much. Well, Philip told yeah. you that you'd have to uh, say a few words when you came down here. Yes, you did. Now, I bet you're feeling a lot better than you were when you sat in there with Philip talking about it. No, I felt terrific, but I, I'm gone through the roof now. You said a <laughs> mouthful, yeah. I should have had lead shoes to bring me down again. Absolutely. I feel fantastic, really, yeah. Well, the greatest delight for you in your racing career. It I, is the obviously. greatest delight. You aim for the best and you get the top and you're very, very fortunate. And Mother Nature has to sit there and good luck with her. What right. were you thinking while the race was on? I was thinking in the run the speed was flat out and Graham was driving like a champion range that he is and he come out with the paces and I said that pace suits me fine. Good on you Jim, yes. we'll let you go and, and uh, celebrate too. Yes, thank you very much. Congratulations. Yes, fantastic. Great scenes in the uh, winner's circle now and the presentation will shortly take place. We'll have uh, some details of that for you. Meanwhile the dividends have become available and the favourite has won. And the winner, number nine, Scotch Notch, $2.70. The win, $1.65 the place. Number 12, Jenna, $3.30 for second. Ten, Sir Castleton for third, $2.35. Nine, Scotch Notch, $2.70, $1.65. 
12 Jenner, 3.30, 10 Sir Castleton, 2.35, all official in the Inter-Dominion Trotters Grand Final.